Hello everybody, I'm Cincy Kerr and welcome to The Medium. The Medium is a psychological horror video game which was developed and published by Bloober Team and Unreal Engine. It is for Microsoft Windows, Xbox, and PlayStation 5. So I've been super interested in playing this since I've seen the trailer. It looked pretty dope and actually a friend of mine mentioned it to me also and he put me onto it so but let's get into it. And there's already a moth on the screen. Awesome. Hello? Is it gonna play? Hmm? Oh, I had to hit X. Yo, why wouldn't it say I had to hit X? <laughs> Oh, shit. Ever since I was little, I've had this dream. It's the end of summer girl is running through the woods. The moon, the scent of pines. And then the gunshot. Mm. It always felt so real. The blood on my cheek. Old sweat running down my skin. I'd managed to convince myself it really happened. This scar of a memory. But part of me I could never fully understand. Uh, well, that wasn't the only part. <laughs> I couldn't even imagine. <laughs> that day when the phone rang, it was the hardest day of my life. The day I went home to say goodbye to my father, to dress him up for his last journey, put him in a suit, fix his tie. Simple. Just the things he did every day. But that little girl looked like her. His stuff wasn't easy. I was just thinking about that. I needed a moment to pull myself together. I was almost ready. I just had to find his special tie clip. Oh, so we going to her dad's funeral, it sounds like. Bear with me here. His controls are a little odd. October 1999. So we taking it back. Friday surgery. Is today Friday? 
October, a memorial of the Holy Guardian Angels, 3 o'clock, or 3, funeral at 10 o'clock, ultrasound, Our Lady of the Rosary. I'm thinking that we're at the funeral at 10 o'clock, because she said she's looking for his tie. Oh, wait, but there's another funeral. What? Our Lady of the Rosary, biopsy, send package to Marianne, neurologist visit, funeral at 12.30, ultrasound. Oh, neurosurgeon visit. Funeral at 9, funeral at 11. God damn, she goes to a lot of funerals. Pick up Marianne from train station. November, All Saints Day, All Souls Day, and then surgery. <laughs> oh, October looks pretty bad. Anything else? Nothing else around here. Can I go around this way? Nope. Okay. Can only go out the door. Oh my god. Yeah. Nice to see you too. Right. Cat scared shit out of me. <laughs> what is this? The yikin! We found the yikin! A funeral home key was in the cat's dish. Or is that what I have? Okay, that's what I have. I have to feed my cat, apparently, it looks like. Looks nourishing. Yeah, I'm gonna have to feed the cat. Makes sense. Yeah, it looks disgusting. Cosy la cosy. I don't know if I'm saying that right. <laughs> Alright, let's feed the cat. Here you go. What's your face? Glad wow. to see you're still kicking around. Do I not even know my own cat's name? Because she definitely just said, what's what's your face? Symbolic funeral of the Sierras of mine. Hmm. Interesting. I can't believe it's all still here. Oh, Jack. So I'm guessing this is her dad's place that I'm at right now. Oh, I can develop pictures here. How to develop photos. Illuminate photo for five seconds. Dip in multigrade for three seconds. Dip in stop for three seconds. Dip in fixer for three seconds. Alright. Huh. I guess I forgot about this one. I can do it now. So, I'm assuming I have to put it in the green first. No. Okay. Maybe I have to put it here first. Aha! We're figuring it out. Okay. Now, here. I'm just counting the three seconds, like, in my head. Ooh. Who's that? Starting to develop. That was the last photo I took of you, Jack. I'm assuming this Shit. is her dad. It's kind of odd that she's calling him Jack. So maybe it's not her dad. Or maybe she just wasn't close with him. I don't know. Okay. That was pretty cool. Uh, right. The tie clip. Pull yourself together, Marianne. All right, we're in the bathroom. You guys should know, I always love the bathroom in games. 1984. If that's the book I'm thinking of, that is a very good book. About Big Brother and everything. Oh, I can't read it. I'm pretty sure that book is called 1984. Alrighty. I guess I have to go this way. I'm trying to find his tie clip. Oh, hello, cat. 
next room. It's like he never. I can't. It won't let me. Oh, there we go. It wouldn't let me a second ago. Jack was part of the solidarity movement. He spent a few months in an internment camp, but even that couldn't dampen his spirit. Hmm. Come on, Jack. Where'd you put it? Okay. Can't find this tie clip. Let's do this the other way. Press and hold L1 to activate insight. Found the tie clip. So insight allows me to see through things and find things. All right, I found the tie clip. Now what? Okay, I think that's it. I'm still investigating Jack's some stuff. downstairs. Time to say goodbye. Oh, uh, maybe Jack's. I used to think I'd never fit in, but Jack, he didn't mind my weirdness. He kept telling me I was special. So I don't know who Jack is. I don't think that's her dad. Keep hissing at me. Who do you think's gonna feed you now? Oh shit. That's savage. <laughs> I'm assuming this is my room. Weird to be back in my old room. Oh, so okay. So yes. many memories. I'm confused. I think it is her dad. <laughs> it's so weird. My oldest family heirloom. As a kid, I'd show this to people just to freak them out. Marianne, I'd usually years say old. something like, Pretty sick, huh? God damn. I was such a dork. This says, Second degree thermal burns covering 35% of total body surface area, trunk and upper limb area, suspected inhalation injury. God damn. Care management and stabilization, early wound cover coverage, respiratory support initiated. Fluid resuscitation initiated, pain control initiated, patient placed on high flow oxygen until carbon monoxide poisoning is ruled out. So when she was three, she got burned all over her body. That's pretty wild. Dear Mr. Orkane, we must request you to attend the next parent-teacher meeting as we would like to discuss with you the situation that took place last Thursday. To recap, Marianne gave one of the students a message from his recently deceased grandmother. We understand it was Marianne's way of consoling with her fellow student, but we're sure you realize that this behavior is inappropriate to say the least. Given that this is not, this is not the first behavioral problem we've informed you about, we believe it's high time for us to meet and talk about Marianne's future in our school. Sincerely, sincerely, Zofia Kanaya, principal at primary school number. Yep. <laughs> number, yep. Kids from the orphanage. Not all of them. Oh, yep. Yeah. Alright, I kept wondering why this was freaking out. If I move my PlayStation 5 controller, that allows me to look around. Wow. That was the least. That's pretty cool. Oh, good to know. I was wondering why I was freaking out. Spirits. There was a time I'd try to run from them. To ignore their calls. Matthew was the first one I helped pass on. Is that the kid standing behind him or is that the kid right there? Hmm. Very interesting. Well that's nice to know. That's how I look around kind of cool. All right. Yeah. I used to have a thing for them. Butterflies. Don't know why, really. That's I guess they just used to make me happy. Jack knew it well. That's why there's so many of them here. All right, I should be finished in here now. I can leave. Finally, I can leave. We lived upstairs from Jack's funeral home. It 
wasn't as weird as it sounds. Besides, if it wasn't for that, I may never have learned to use my powers. Jack taught me to accept my condition. Of all my foster parents, he was the only one who saw it my as a gift. My controller is kind of vibrating and I don't know why. Just make sure I'm not missing anything out here. The Last Goodbye Funeral Home. Oh, that's a great name. The Last Goodbye. The Last Goodbye Funeral Home. Inner Investigator. I got a trophy. Look at me go! Funeral home key. Let's go in. Jack's in the prep room. This makes me curious if this is from the creators of Song of Horror because, like I said, these view changes are definitely very similar to that game. This is prep room. Personnel only. I don't have a key. I don't remember locking it. The key should be in the office. Hmm. Interesting. Record of funeral. Name of deceased is Adam Nowak. Family contact 32202999. General information. Sex is male. Date of birth February 5th, 1976. Birthplace is Krakow. Krakow. <laughs> Name of mother Hannah. Name of father Stanislaw. Stanislaw. That's an interesting name. Occupation. University student. Married. Date of death is September 10th, 1999. Cause of death was a car accident. Embalming done. Dressing body done. Cosmetician. No. Hairdresser. No. Autopsy repair. No. Flowers. Done. Regist register book. No. Memorial cards. No. Jack. Mr. Nowak brought funeral payment confirmation today. It's in the cabinet. Also, Robert took Friday off, so we need to find someone else for the funeral. Marianne. So apparently this is what I left for him. Okay. What else is on the desk? A picture of Jack and I. Here it is. And I got the prep room key. So I can get into the prep room. Hmm. Okay. I didn't mean to do that. I accidentally hit my intuition. Or whatever she called it. All right, let's go to the prep room, since I can't go any further down the hallway. Prep room key. Morgues are always like really weird. I could never understand how people actually work in morgues, but I guess you just got to have that in you to be able to cut open dead bodies and embalm them and everything else. I couldn't do it personally. <laughs> All right. No disrespect to the dead or anything. I just can't do it. <laughs> Not sure if I'm ready for this. All right. Let me see. I keep running into the table. Looks like I gotta pull out the body. Jack's body? Jack. Yep. Jack died. Okay, that makes sense. I don't think Jack's her dad, though. I think Jack is just, like, father figure or something. That's what it seems like, at least. Jack's tie clip. Why can't I put that on him? I got your special clip. 
No. Oh, uh, okay. I need his tie first. Where did they put his tie? So I'm missing his tie. Oh, there it is. All right, so we can combine with that. And then look at that, Jack's tie with the clip. Snazzy. You wish she really way. just said snazzy. Snazzy. All right, let's put your clip on. I didn't expect this to be easy. You're welcome, Jack, you're welcome. I guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it, it just burns you from the inside out. Yeah. There. Especially if you work in a morgue. That's gotta suck to I have to, like, me. do a body you know. But am I? <laughs> Interesting. Anybody at your door. Yeah, definitely ain't somebody at your door, bro. <laughs> oh, awesome. <laughs> Great. Check upstairs, it says. Meanwhile, it's dark as hell. The lights are flickering. I can oh shit. What in the fuck? Ooh, boy! What is that? <laughs> oh, hell no. I feel like Jack has come to haunt me. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn, you gotta break stuff in there? Who's in hell? here? Oh shit! <laughs> oh. Guess you felt <gasps> it too. Oh my god, it was the cat. How did the cat get here? And then it happened. As it did so many times before. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. Alright, I didn't take this game to be like that kind of creepy, but it's giving me that kind of creepy. Oh, shit. Oh, where is that darn notebook? I'm gonna be late. Hey, it's Jack. Marianne? Oh, oh. Marianne, are, are you... Are you crying, my child? I... That's so interesting. Jack. Now, now, you didn't happen to see my notebook, did you, darling? Uh, Why does his head look like that? Is that how so he died? Raging, graceful. <laughs> Shit. Where is that? Listen, Jack. You should probably get some rest. Forget the notebook. Oh, no, no. no. She's I've like in so two different places at it's once. Okay, Jack. No, I, I can't just. I keep looking back and forth at each side. It's okay. My sweet little Marianne. What would I ever do without you? Jack. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. It's 
it's time to get some rest. Yeah. No, I, I, I'm worried about the surgery. When I'm at the hospital, are, are you sure you're going to be all right? He didn't even make it to a surgery. Did she just help him pass on? She helped him pass on, it looks like. Or passing on. It's interesting. Why do you have to be creepy at first? Most people <laughs> would give anything to have that opportunity. To say all the things that were left unsaid. But it didn't make things any easier. I could help a thousand souls cross over, but when it came to Jack, it still hurt like hell. I love you too, mm -hmm. Daddy. Oh yeah, you can see some of the burn mark on her. I used to think everyone on saw On the left side of her I face, did. on her left side. Divided. Torn between two realities. But... No. I was the only one. Or so I thought. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number. I... Marianne. Who is this? You don't know me, Marianne. But I know you. Look. Creepy. This is a joke. Uh... You need to listen to me, Marianne. Okay. Uh, who the up. fuck are you? What, you are. what? Who is this? My name is Thomas. I need your help. Uh, Alright, Thomas, how do you know you me, got, Thomas? I'm... No, uh. there's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life. But I, I need you to trust me. Trust you? I don't even know you. It all right. starts with a dead girl. Don't even tell me you're gonna bring up the dead girl that got shot. The Nemo Resort. Mm. Find me there. Please. The it's all gonna come down to this gone. girl. Not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. You're my only chance. You can stop Hello? what? Hello? You can stop Shit. what? The medium. It's gonna be a good game. Trophy, the last goodbye. Ooh, tell me she got a motorcycle. Yep. And off I went. On nothing but a hunch. A call from a complete stranger. But I'd learned to trust my instincts, and there was something about this guy voice. I felt like I should know him. Either way, he sure seemed to know me. He did sure seem to know you. Thomas. Well, that's definitely fucking abandoned. <laughs> Is this where he said to meet him? What is this place?
Warning, this area is closed. Do not enter. The Neva Workers Resort. Right off the bat, I could feel there was something Yeah, super fucking place. abandoned. <sighs> Get through the gate. Heard. Alright. Front gate was locked up tight. Alright, let's I lock need to on find it. find another way in. Anyone home? I guess not. <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> If there is somebody home, it is definitely a hobo. Niwa. Niwa says hello. You would love it here, my dear. Amazing day room for kids and free art lessons. Lots of families and the hotel is huge. I've never seen anything like it. Wish you could be here with me. Miss you. F. How mysterious. F. All right. What the? Hello, Thomas. It looks like a zombie. I don't really know Thomas. That looks like a damn zombie. The hell is that? <sighs> awesome. All right. She yelled, "Thomas." Does that look like Thomas to you? <laughs> Crazy. All right, let's see if we can go around somewhere. Looks like we're up the climb. You want to keep me out, Neva? <clears throat> yeah, that dude's gone. You're gonna have to do better than that. Make Not your way deeper into the resort. It used to be a government Hold R2 while moving to run. Until one day it just. Or L2? I and think it said so L2. An urban legend was born. The Neva Massacre. Yeah, it's L2. The yeah. details were always fuzzy. Crazed workers, ancient curses. You know. Interesting. Let's go further into the woods, even though we saw something that you weirdly thought was Thomas. It's great! Yay! Now a ball just randomly rolled to you. Let's keep going. Interesting. Press and hold L1 huh. to activate insight. Huh. Activate O. Just going deeper into the forest. This seems like a Blair Witch kind of game. <laughs> What's this? What does that say? T and K, nineteen sixty-eight. Hmm. Somebody was there in nineteen sixty-eight. Might be my way in. Alright, let's just look around quick. Don't want to forget anything. Which I don't think I am. Read, warning, due to the recently unearthed remains, renovation works have been suspended pending archaeological examination. Alright. Let's go Something in. Something happened here. Something did happen there. <laughs> Damn, you really gotta try hard to get into this resort. <laughs> So this place has a story to tell. It looks so different on the other side. The place it's felt funny old though and soaked in misery. Figures, I guess. 
There's something over there Thousand in the other world. I wonder what that is. Happen. It's paid for. But even in the deepest darkness, light can linger. Lonely, fragile, waiting for someone to embrace it. As I absorbed the energy, I wondered who it was that left it behind. A dying soldier whispering the name of his beloved? Or maybe just glad to be done with this world? Am I supposed to just do it once? My arm's all lit up now after doing that. So I wonder what that does. Interesting. In any case, I figured I could use it. Energy's energy. Press and hold R2 to charge a spirit blast. Let go to unleash. Oh, so that worked. That's kind of cool. You, These. Okay, so I guess like before I did that, I could have probably looked at it and tried to figure out what was wrong with it. That. That's a kid playing with the ball. Remember, I caught a ball in my foot before. So it's probably going to be about that little girl. Interesting. <laughs> So there I was, existing in two worlds. But oh, it's never cold, really and I can actually anything. feel it in my controller. It's like vibrating just a little bit. Caution! Fire hazard! Hazardous! Man, this resort is freaking far, huh? Left or right? Let's go right. There's a dead oh. deer. What happened to you? Uh, yeah, that looks really weird. That shit wasn't shot. I'll tell you that right now. Looked like it had the soul sucked out of it. <laughs> what the hell? So a monkey that bangs the thingies. I don't remember what they're actually called. Huh. Very interesting. They just like to try and scare you. Are you splitting again? <sighs> Oh, okay, nah, we ain't just splitting. I'm fully in the world. Oh, now I'm back in my own world. What the hell are you, Neva? Something dark. The aura in that place. I've seen others like it, but never this intense. It was like a landfill of memories, emotions, and none of them good. Hmm. All right. Oh, God damn. Woo. Uh, Fuck me off. Oh, I can find an echo. Oh. So apparently I can find echoes. 
caught the scent. I'm getting a lot of trophies right now. Even the objects here had auras. When I touched... Huh. It's not really like talking though, like it should be, I feel like. I'm sorry. I found an echo. So apparently we can do that with objects. Find the echo. Thomas! Hello, Thomas! Where are you? Hello? Anybody in there? Oh, there's somebody in there. Or something. Locked. Obviously. There's gotta be another way. Alright, let's go find another way. Come on. Ooh. What do you think you're gonna jump? Ah. I think there's a broken window up there. There is, but I could reach it. Yeah, I was gonna say you can't make that. Ooh, look a butterfly. Well, I've already proven my prowess as a dumpster climber. Shit. The handle's missing. All Maybe right. I could replace it with something. So we're missing a handle. Oh, you better stop. Huh? Giggling and shit. All right, we gotta find a handle. So I guess I could kind of be like anywhere though. Dual detective. New a resort summer of 1969 inauguration. The first secretary of the Polish United Workers Party comrade Wladysaw Gomolka, sorry if I say that wrong, honored Krakow, Krakow and took part in an official inauguration of the Niwa Resort, the new center of the socialist joy and recreation. Working class of Lesser Poland finally has a place to spend family time in the bosom of nature. The main building and the lodge area are comfortable yet simple. As simple are the socialistic spirit and philosophy. Special thanks to the architect, future manager, and a committed party member, Mr. Rekowicz, without whom the Niwa Resort would be impossible to design, construct, and build. And it's the anniversary of establishing Polish People's Republic. Very interesting. All right. Let's try and find that handle. Damn, you can explore the whole parking lot. That's pretty wild. Hey, old timer. Oh, there's a car. Now, what's a fine machine like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> she said a fine machine. Bedroom, apparently. <laughs> All right. This says, my love, summer in full swing. The resort is stuffed to the gills, and you know what that means. More work for yours truly, but it's good work. Honest work. Mr. Rakowitz said he'd like to keep me on. Can you believe it? I won't screw this up. Not this time. Promise. F. They have very crazy names in this. C and F. <laughs> Hope you don't mind if I, uh... Pop your trunk. <laughs> All right, let's go check the trunk. You got a tire no, and a screwdriver. I will take that screwdriver though. Oh, wow. this could come in handy. It may. So let's keep that. Ow! <gasps> Shit! Woo! What the hell? <laughs> oh my god, that scared me. Ooh, you better cut that shit out. Oof. You sense little footprints that are on the hopscotch, is what you sense. Alright, I don't know. Let's see if we can do something with the screwdriver. Maybe she's gonna use that as, like, a handle. I don't know. Give it a try. Let's see. Cool. So began the great dumpster heist of 1999. Stupid. <laughs> the great dumpster heist of 1999. All right. Gotta push it. All right. 
my muscles. Push, 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 muscles. I'm starting to get tired of your shit, Neva. You better be worth it. You can do it. All right. Let's climb up and see what's in this resort. Thomas! Where are you, Thomas? Inside the hotel there is bloody clothes here and a lot of voices there's an echo I found an echo goodbye echo screams of terror people running in panic <sighs> so it's true so it's weird because I don't know if the game is messed up, but it's not letting out the sounds of the echoes when it says listen to the echo. I can't hear anything. So, or maybe it's supposed to do that and you're just supposed to read the dialogue. I don't really know. Odd if it is that way. Hello? <laughs> Thomas! Anyone? You there, Thomas? Thomas? Hello? You there? Thomas, you said to meet at the resort. I'm here. Where is Mike Enslin? I feel so pathetic and ugly. Sinners be damned. <laughs> Laying here waiting for you. But that's just silly. Ha ha ha. Wow. I am Cat and I... Liking my balls? I think... <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> Fuck me. I can't read that. Stay in the lines. Tony Halleck. A boy's best friend is his mother. Wow. Read. Kowalski Brunin. Halina Smock. Victoria Maurer. Boris Zalazo. Hotel Register. This is Vivian, the Nuwa Workers Resort. Or Niwa. Nuwa. Niwa. Thomas, were you here? There's a flashlight. Say you being silly, Thomas. Uh, your bell is ringing, ma'am. Easy, Marianne. It's just a good old fashioned haunted hotel. Calm your ass down. I don't know about that, girl. Oh, you said go answer the bell? You're bugging. We gonna tap it back to the ghost. <laughs> Ding ding, hello! I'm here! There's that damn ball again. Now you fucked up. <sighs> to the other side! startled me. I did, didn't I? Where is her arm? I'm scared. <laughs> I'm sadness. Sadness. Marianne. 
sadness. Is that your name? I mean, you seem pretty cheerful to me. Well, it's what I remember. Um, my friends used to call me by a different name. But I don't remember what it was. Your friends? Oh, yeah. I used to have a lot of friends here. That's unfortunate. Did something happen to them? Uh, 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 I don't really want to talk about it. That, that's okay. So, do you live here? All by yourself? <laughs> you wouldn't believe how boring it gets sometimes. I can imagine. This place. Where the fuck is her arm? Oh, yes. <laughs> That's all I want to know so is where is her arm? <laughs> people coming and going all the time. <laughs> Always someone to play with. Must have been nice. It was not anymore. So, tell me, what happened? Uh, I remember. People stopped coming. Uh, only a few of them stayed. But they became very sad. Interesting. The lights like flickering on the other end. Angry. They might hurt you. <laughs> they might hurt me. But I can take care of myself. Hey, I was wondering, have you seen Marianne? <gasps> yes. Oh, would you play with me? Just for a little while. It, it, it's been so long since I played with anyone. Oh, okay, okay. But I need your help first. Yes. Uh, yes! Uh, anything, I'm Marianne! I'm looking for a man. Thomas. Do you know him? Uh, let me think. Uh, I've heard that name. Wait! I can't go that way! Damn. I need to get up there somehow. Interesting. The cheerful kind. So... I need to figure out how to get upstairs. To find Thomas. Okay. Oh, that's where the dude she was. Okay. I gotta remember to look in the other world too while I'm running around because you can find other things in the other world that I can't find in the real world. Hey, an elevator. Might as well see if it works. Interesting. The day room, the safest place for the youngest. Apparently not, if nobody's alive anymore. <laughs> you, you gotta be shitting bricks if that elevator still works. That's crazy. Did she say the first floor or the second floor? We're gonna go to the first floor because I don't know what she said. All I know is that she ran upstairs. I wished I knew her real name. Shit. Okay, Marianne, just take a deep breath and... Press and hold circle for an out-of-body experience. Let go. Damn, look at her just KO'd on the top screen. There, a fuse box. Need some energy to spark it up. Okay, I'll find some energy. Gotta move fast. That's pretty dope. I can switch to just moving around in An the other world. Body experience. It's 
like taking a plunge into nothingness. Stay under for too long and it just pulls you in. Oh, so I have to be quick. Okay. Well, it looks like what I need is downstairs, so... Oh my god. Oh my god, it's taking me. It's taking me! Hurry, hurry! Oh my god, I'm disappearing! Okay, Marianne. Yeah, hurry up. Now get your I'm ghostly ass back and power up that elevator. Alright, ugh. Oh my god. Oh, I have to do the out-of-body experience again. There we go. To your body, girl. All right. So it looks like we gotta go to floor two. Or no. Damn. 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 <laughs> I meant to get off at floor one. <laughs> oh well. Let's go explore okay. floor number two. Now where did she go? You are here. Interesting. Can I? Okay. There's nothing on this floor, it looks like, so. I think we just have to get back in the elevator and go. Oh. Huh. What is that? <gasps> it looks like ugly ass bug. That's what that looks like. So I can't go in there. It looks like at least. Okay. Not getting through here. I need something to get in there. All right, makes sense. Can't go in. Heard. I have to find something else to be able to go in there. Must I must have to find out in her world though. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? those bugs oh, <laughs> I didn't even know I could do that oh well now you know you can do it you're welcome all right Let's see what's in here There's something over here Oh, looks like a key. I think that's the one I was looking for for that door. Sweet. There we go. All right, just wanted to keep going down the hallway a little more though. It's a barrier. Ugh, gross. It looks like flesh. It sure does. Is that skin? Looks like skin. Oh, I have to use something for it too? Oh. It's gross. Alright, let's jog back to that other door. If I can find it. Where was that? Ooh. Let's go in here. See what's in here. Gotta hurry up. Or my body like fully fucking disappears. 
This room, it feels cold. Memories of grief, loneliness. Girl, you're about to full on disappear. For some reason I needed that, I don't know why. Shit, there are thousands of them. I'm gonna need more energy to get through. All right, everybody. It's about that time. I'm going to stop here for the night. Um, I will be recording part two within a couple of days. And then you guys can see more of what's going on in this game. But I think this game has a lot of potential with the creepy theme it's giving off. And these different things that you can do when you're in the separate world. Which is pretty dope. So I'm super excited to play more of this game and show you guys some more content off of this game. But like and subscribe and thank you for tuning in guys.